एवरी वन वेलकम टू आर सीरीज ए एस आर बी नेट एग्रीकल्चर एंटेमोलॉजी इन विच वी आर कवरिंग द एंटायर सिलेबस ऑफ ए एस आर बी नेट एग्रीकल्चर एंटेमोलॉजी इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अ टॉपिक फ्राम यूनिट टू मॉर्फोलॉजी विच इज़ एंटाइटल्ड एज बॉडी वॉल इट्स स्ट्रक्चर आउट ग्रोथ एंड एंडोस्कैल्टन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू नो वॉट बॉडी वॉल इज सो बॉडी वॉल इट इज़ द आउटर मोस्ट कवरिंग ऑफ द इंसेक्ट बॉडी एज लाइक ह्यूमन्स हैव skin in their body insects also have an outer covering which protects the insects body from outside injuries and many other things it is a composite structure which forms the skeleton of the insect body it provides area for muscle attachment protection from desiccation mus and physical and mechanical injuries and it also provides shape and strength to the body and its appendages here desiccation means water loss so it means that insect body wall provides protection from water loss so insect body wall is divided into three parts basement membrane epidermis and cuticle basement membrane is the innermost part after that epidermis and then the outermost part of the insect body is cuticle so first of uh, we should know that what basement membrane is so first of all we will discuss this diagram this sketch in which we will know that the insect body wall is divided into basement membrane epidermis and cuticle again cuticle is divided into two parts epicuticle and procuticle epicuticle is divided into four cement layer wax layer inner cuticle line and uh, inner cuticle line and cuticle line layer procuticle is divided into two endocuticle and exocuticle here you can see a diagram in which we can you can understand in more detail where these are situated so you can see that the basement membrane is the most inner part most lower part of the insect body here you can see that the basement membrane is the innermost part of the insect body and after that epidermal uh, epidermis comes and then whole cuticle comes in it you can see that the cuticle is divided into two parts epicuticle and procuticle and then procuticle is divided into two parts this region is known as procuticle which is divided into exocuticle and endocuticle and after that it comes procuticle which is divided into four parts cement layer wax layer outer epicuticle and inner epicuticle after that we will know what basement membrane is so here we can understand that the basement membrane is the basal part most lower basal part of the insect body it is amorphous amorphous means shapeless its thickness is 0.5 micron it consists of fibrous protein and glycosamine uh, glycosaminoglycans which is a polymer of disaccharides it, it we can say that it is a sheath beneath the epidermis where muscles are attached so and next is epidermis epidermis is a unicellular layer formed from polygonal cells you can understand what polygonal cells is and their cells consist of well developed nucleus and other cytoplasmic contents adjacent epidermal cells are held together by means of certain cytoplasmic processes which are known as desmosomes the epidermal cells get differentiated in following types based on the function they perform so here you can see that the epidermal cells are di differentiated in four categories which are dermal gland which produces cement layer trichogen cell producing hair like seta or trichome molting gland secreting molting fluid which digests the old cuticle and peristomatic glands around the spiracles in case of dipteran larva these are peristomatic glands are around, are present around the spiracles in the case of dipteran larva the major functions of the epidermis is the Mm, the secretion of cuticle so if air anywhere it if it is asked what is the function of epidermis just you have to learn one thing that the main function of epidermis is the secretion of the cuticle and the digestion of the old cuticle means epidermis ha epidermis has few glands which secrete enzymes which helps in de uh, in decomposition and secretion of the cuticle it provides uh, it ha also helps in wound repairing and gives a shape and surface look means 
the epiderm the characteristics of the epidermal cells mainly categorize the surface look of the insect that how insect will look from the outside so last cuticle and the cuticle is the outermost layer of the insect body insect body wall it is divided into two regions epicuticle and procuticle so epicuticle it is the upper layer and procuticle is the inner layer we can say that epicuticle is the outermost layer of the insect body wall it is uh, it can uh, chitin is absent in the cuticle and its thickness is 1 to 4 micron it consists of four layers cement layer wax layer inner cuticle line and cuticle line layer so cement layer is uh, secreted by dermal glands and is composed of lipoproteins it protects the body from external damage next wax layer it is 0.25 micron in thickness consisting of uh, a long chain hydrocarbons esters of fatty acids and alcohol it serves a waterproof layer preventing water loss from the body means wax layer is the layer which prevents water loss from the body of the insect inner cuticle line it is mainly used in the formation of the protein and it is resistant to acids and organic solvents means inner cuticle line is the layer which protects the insects from any acids and organic solvents and the next layer is cuticle line layer it is amber colored amber means gold uh, golden colored thin layer over the surface of the epidermis which is strengthened by the outer polyphenol layer means it is a golden colored layer uh, over the surface of the epidermis it's just above the epidermis which is strength is strengthened by the polyphenol layer a layer of poly polyphenol strengthens the cuticle line layer it serves the purpose of permeability and also acts as a growth barrier means it's permeable means a uh, liquid or substances which are have to pass through it can pass and it also acts as a growth barrier means it prevents the growth of the insects somehow next layer is procuticle procuticle is divided into two layers exocuticle and endocuticle so exocuticle it's a darkly uh, pigmented hard sclerotized it offers uh, it offers rigidity to the cuticle and consists mainly chitin and hard protein called sclerotin exocuticle is darkly pigmented means the pigments make it dark it is hard and sclerotized it uh, offers rigidity means hardness to the cuticle and it mainly consists of chitin and hard protein a protein which is consisted in exocuticle is known as sclerotin endocuticle endocuticle is soft light colored and unsclerotized and it contains more chitin but less hard protein sclerotin as endocuticle is soft it contains less quantity of uh, uh, hardening protein which is known as sclerotin the two major components of the insect cuticle are chitin and protein so chitin is a nitrogenous polysaccharide it accounts for 25 to 60 percent of the dry weight of the cuticle it is named by odier in 1834 it consists of high molecular weight polymer of anhy anhydro nh type glucosamine residues joined by beta glycosidic linkages in many exams this kind of questions are asked that what kind of uh, molecule uh, what kind of polymer is found in chitin and there are options like that that n acetyl glucosamine n acetyl acetyl and some other substances so we have to remember this that in uh, chitin its n acetyl glucosamine is present it is embedded with proteins in the procuticle to form glycoprotein means as you have eaten sandwich you have seen that in the middle of it we have veggies or something like uh, something like butter and on both the sides it's bread so it is also embedded in between the proteins in between protein and it's known as glycoprotein it's insoluble in water alcohol and organic solvents and dilute acids and concentrated alkali but it is soluble soluble in concentrated minerals mineral acids and sodium hypochlorite okay so here we can understand that uh, the chitin is insoluble in water alcohol and organic solvents but it can be soluble in concentrated mineral acids and sodium hypochlorite here we can see a uh, chemical structure of the 
kitein we have seen that the agriculture students get feared after seeing this kinds of big diagram uh, big diagrams or big structural formula but you can uh, only remember the first two first two diagrams and uh, these two and just you can see that you have to invert it or you can only remember this one the first diagram and you can you only have to invert it like you can see that here ch2oh is in the lower side and oc ch3 is on the upper side here it is inverted and, the, and again it is inverted and then again it is inverted so you doesn't have to be more conscious about the diagram you just have to remember one diagram and you can make all over it okay please like share and subscribe and if you have any doubt or review regarding this video please put it in the comment section then the next portion is protein so insect uh, the insect cuticle or the insect body wall which is consisting of cuticle it consists of a three types of protein which is arthropodin sclerotin and resilin arthropodin it is a soft water soluble protein present in endocuticle as we have studied earlier in endocuticle that it consists of uh, arthropodin arthropodin so as it is written here uh, the conversion of arthropodin into sclerotin is known as sclerotization or tanning so in the previous uh, slide it there was a word there is sclerotization or sclerotin so the sclerotin is a protein and the process of conversion of arthropodin into sclerotin is known as sclerotization or tanning next is sclerotin so sclerotin it is a it is called a tanned protein which is amber colored and present only in exocuticle so we have seen that the sclerotin is the hardening protein we have studied in the previous slides so it's uh, only present in the exocuticle and it's uh, in amber colored the third protein is resilin it is a rubber like elastic protein which is colorless and present in joints such as wings hinge ligaments leg joints clipolabral joints or sutures and pterygosternal joints so next we are going to study what is cuticle integuments and modifications so first of all what is integument integument is uh, integument is the modified or mod modified external or internal growth here you can see that integument is divided into outgrowth and invagination so here outgrowth means the outer growth means the structure which is uh, come pops out of the insect cuticle is called outgrowth and which is uh, which develops inside the insect body is known as invagination as like our hairs are the outgrowths but if you insert some needle it goes inside so it is an invagination needle obvious needle is not the exact word because uh, needle is the external thing and the invaginations are the natural structures in the insect body which are formed in the uh, which penetrates the internally grow internally grown penetrates the insect body inside is known as invaginations so outgrowths are divided into two portions cuticular processes and cuticular appendages cuticular processes is divided into two categories setae and spurs setae is uh, unicellular in origin and spurs are multicellular in origin and invagination is divided into two apophysis and apodems apophysis is solid and apodems are hollow in structure so cuticular outgrowth as we have told in the previous slide that it is uh, and uh, they are divided into cuticular appendages and cuticular processes depending on the presence and absence of the membranous articulation so what is cuticular appendages cuticular appendages are the outgrowths of the cuticular integument they arise from the modified epidermal cells they are classified into setae and spurs so appendages are divided into two setae and spurs so what is setae commonly known as hairs and arise from the from a life alveus or pit it is differentiated into four categories clothing hairs scales granular setae clothing hairs these are hair like structures that cover the entire body legs and wings means it is cover it covers all the body of the insect and found in honey bees second one is scales as we have as you might have seen fishes 
it the scales are found in the body of it so same like structure is found in the wings of butterfly it, this structure is no uh, this kind of uh, uh, growth is called scales granular setae setae are the, uh, that functions as the outlet for the secretion of the hypodermal glands if they are stout they are called granular bristle and n is case of certain larva of butterfly uh, lepidoptera so it is a stout structure its granular bristles uh, if it is hard it is known as granular bristles in the lepidoptera sensory setae these are setae of trichomes provided with sensory receptors or sensory nerve cells and respond to the external stimuli these are present on antennae legs and mouth parts so this type of setae which senses in the signals are known as sensory setae these are present on antennae legs and mouth parts so spurs occurs on the legs of many insects and different from setae is in being multicellular in origin so it occurs on mainly on the legs of the insects and differ from setae in being multicellular in origin as like C, uh, the setae is in is of uh, unicellular in origin the spurs are multicellular in origin cuticular processes they have no membranous articulation and they are of two types microtrachia fixed hairs uh, microtrachia and spines so microtrachia is also known as fixed hairs and aculei as of like its name we can understand that it is a minute hair like structure found on the wings of macoptera and certain diptera and spines are the outgrowths of the cuticle which are more or less thorn like thorn means something pointed needle like structure like a in form so endoskeleton it is the internal skeleton present inside the body of a living organism it uh, example a bony or a cartilage cartilaginous skeleton of vertebrates all vertebrates like birds fish reptiles amphibians and mammalians have an endoskeleton the endoskeleton is the internal support system that provides structural support and protection to the internal organs and aids in the movement of the locomotion movement and locomotion so we can understand that endoskeleton is the internal support system that provides structural support and protection to the internal organs of the organism and also helps in the movement and locomotion it means it also helps in the movement of the organism it provides site for the attachment of the muscles and thus can transmit the force to the muscle so the endoskeleton mainly comprises bones and cartilage the main function of endoskeleton is to provide an internal support and protect internal organs and helps in locomotion and provide site for the muscle attachment and transmit the forces to the muscle bones are made up of bone cells known as osteoblast and they form joints to articulate with each other a bone is attached to each other bo another bone by ligament and muscles are attached to bones by tendons thank you for seeing our video please like share and comment as much as and if you have any doubt please let us know about your doubts and if you have any review for our uh, next video that you should improve this you can also tell us that and please like and share as much as you can and subscribe to our channel we will keep uploading the videos regarding to the entomology net asrb net entomology syllabus on every next day we will upload three videos in a week so for getting notified about that video you should subscribe to our channel thank you